सो हाई डियर टॉरस अ वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू यू गाइज दिस इज अंजलि टेरो एंड दिस इज अ जर्नल ऑफ रीडिंग फॉर ऑल द टॉरस सन मून मीनस राइजिंग कीप इन माइंड दिस इज जर्नल इट माइट और माइट नॉट रेजोनेट विद यूर द फर्स्ट प्लेस द सेकेंड थिंग द रोल्स कैन बी रिवर्स ऑल्सो थर्ड थिंग दिस इज अ रीडिंग फ्रॉम एटीन टिल द ट्वेंटी फोर ऑफ जून एंड फोर्थ थिंग दिस इज अ रीडिंग वैलिड फॉर एवरी साइन दैट यू आर डीलिंग विद एवरी ट्वेल्थ साइन इंक्लूडिंग यूर साइन एज वेल इवन इफ यू आर डीलिंग विद अनदर टॉरस यूर सो लेट स्टार्ट योर पार्टनर और योर पर्सन करंट फीलिंग्स फॉर यू राइट नाउ आर टॉरस लेट सी Let's see what's happening. Your partner or your person's current feelings for you right now at this present moment. Wow. We have the six of wands. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups. Wow. Someone is feeling like you are doing really good in your life. Whatever you are doing. this person is feeling like you are really doing good in your life and you are uh, having growth and expansion you are going towards heading towards uh, prosperity and abundance and most probably heading towards success okay this person feels like opening up to you and uh, starting a brand new chapter with you it could be very much possible that the, that uh, someone around you is very influenced by your en energies it could be a new person or newish kind of energy that is influenced by your uh, personality and your things and they feel like uh, starting a connection with you okay let's clarify the six of wands we have the 8 of pentacles the queen of cups and the 5 of cups wow someone here is trying their best to uh, like work on their uh, stability putting in the effort and energy to work in on their stability and uh, self love self healing kind of energy because someone is feeling very very isolated by your uh, success wow so someone was not ready for you to be successful in your life and now when you are getting successful this person is trying their best to work on themselves as well trying to heal from the situation and uh, they are feeling like a victim they are feeling like a, they are the victim here and they are going through a lot of uh, pain and lot of left out kind of energy and you are just enjoying your life you are just on uh, some other planet some other happiness and uh, they are <laughs> not a part of your life and it is very very sad for them in some cases what i'm getting here is there is a person around you again a new a new kind of person who is coming out of a very bad phase of their life and when they are seeing you they are in this energy of okay if taurus can do that i can also do that so someone is getting inspired from you and starting their healing journey and uh, doing whatever it takes to come out of this painful cycle that they are going through now you can take it how it resonates with you if there is someone new around you who is going through a lot of uh, a painful kind of energies right now in their life i think they are getting very very inspired from you and slowly but surely they are falling for you for others of you i do see someone is feeling like a victim because you are growing and they are uh, feeling left out and they are feeling like okay you are the one to blame here and you are the one who created this kind of sad and uh, uh bad life for them <laughs> wow cool let's see what do you feel about this particular person or situation right now taurus what are your feelings for this situation this is the five of swords here and bottom of the deck is the eight of wands it's very very stressful for you to even think about this situation you feel like a, a like a you, you know you feel like having a clarity clear cut energy from your side like this is what i am this is who i am then this is how my life is going to be so whenever you think about this whole situation between you and a particular person that's uh, blaming you or that's in a victim mode right now you feel kind of stressful kind of energy you feel like this person either try to manipulate you every time or they are kind of highly egoistic person and you cannot deal with this and this energy anymore because you are a uh, uh, very you know uh, uh, you are a person who who feels like everything should be clear cut there should not be any kind of manipulations or mind games or ego games let's clarify the five of swords stressful for you whenever you think about the situation or this connection between you and this someone specific let's clarify this five of swords we have the tower and the seven of swords and ace of wands right see you got to know something about this person you true you saw their true personality 
or a lie or cheating or something behind your back was going on and you got to know about that and now you're very very uh, much stressed out uh, that uh, you are not able to understand whether you want this person in your life or not or whether you will be ever able to uh, trust anyone else in your life or not this is what is happening right now in your life so if there is already someone in your life who feels like having a brand new beginning with you and you already know this person you are stressed out because you cannot trust this person and if there is someone new or newish kind of person around you whom you feel like you should have a connection with again you have trust issues because of previous relationships and you are not able to understand what you should do about it okay this is what i'm getting here so stressed out about a particular beginning in your life with a for some of you with a past person for some of you with a new person so take it how it resonates with you if it's not resonating with you at all taurus it's not your story then i'm sorry about this this week this is not your story then okay let's see what this person wants from you what are their intentions for this situation taurus Queen of Cups and the bottom of the deck is the Emperor. Right now, this person wants to take care of themselves. They want to take the charge or like uh, take their power back from this situation. They don't want to feel powerless in the situation and they want to keep their feelings and keep their things to themselves. Right now, they don't want to confess or express anything, but they want to keep it uh, within themselves and uh, they want to show you that they are not affected and they are really happy in their life, but I feel they are not. Let's clarify the Queen of Cups. If someone around you is behaving weird, just trust me, they are going through some kind of painful energy inside of them and they just don't want to let you know about that. Instead, they want, you, they want to show you that they are really good and uh, they are happy and all that. Let's clarify the Queen of Cups. We have the Two of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so this person wants to keep their feelings and emotions to themselves because they are on the crossroad regarding the situation between you and them. They are not able to see the clear picture of the situation as of now. They feel like this situation is highly, highly imbalanced. So they want to take things really very, very slow, okay, uh, like one day at a time. And they want to keep uh, uh, healing themselves and keep their emotions and things to themselves only instead of running behind you, begging you or chasing you or doing... Uh, anything about it they just want to keep them uh, keep uh, their energies intact and have this self-love self-healing kind of journey and simultaneously taking things really very slow so that they so that they can understand what the actual heck is going and uh, going on in the situation and what the universe wants out of the situation okay this is what this person wants simultaneously they want to show you that they are not that much affected they are good and they are doing great cool okay got it Let's see what do you want out of this particular person, uh, situation or person from this particular person or situation. Let's see. Taurus. King of Wands and the bottom of the deck is the King of Swords. So you want to remain detached and cold about the situation and you want to do something that you are really passionate about in your life. Now again you could be dealing with two energies. It could be possible that you are dealing with a past person and a new person at the same time or you are in this energy of whether I should let it go completely or whether I should uh, give it another chance. That kind of conflict is going on within you and right now you just want to do something that you really want to do from a very long time. Let me clarify this what, uh, what that is. We have the King of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups and the Empress. Wow. You want to meet the right person. Taurus, simple. You want to remain happy, very, very happy. You want to meet the right person and you are really passionate about this energy now that I just want to connect with the right person who is meant for me only. I want to be happy. I want to have this growth and expansion in my life. I want to have the happily ever after kind of energy in my life and I don't want to settle less than this. I don't want to settle for less than this. Okay, this is what you want. And this is what you are passionate about right now. And this is what you passionately want to have in your life right now, Taurus. Out of nowhere, you are going to feel like you are going to realize that there is something missing in your life. And even if you are in a solid committed relationship with someone, you feel there is something missing. You are not with the right person or this situation is not right for you. So you are yearning for that kind of energy who is going to bring you the stability, the uh, the 
long term happiness and this growth and expansion in your life that you want and uh, you want it from a very long time Taurus all you want right now is the right person for you who is going to be with you forever and you guys are going to live your happily ever after with each other this is what you want obviously not every Taurus is yearning for a partner right now but for most of you you want this if you are uh, like still if you are even if you are committed or married or uh, in a relationship or single whatever whatever the case may be you just want the right person right situation and you want your happily ever after and uh, you just want to be with that person who is going to be with you forever the right person for you looking for your mr right or mrs miss miss right or mr right okay this is what you want and simultaneously you want to remain cold and often detached towards everything and everyone wow how can it be possible then you are giving me two contradictory energies two conflicting energies at place here one is very passionate about finding the right person one is like no i'm not going to open up to anyone because i know this is not the right person or right energy for me you yourself is deciding you are in this energy of okay you not you actually your ego is deciding this person is right this person is wrong this person judgmental being, judge, being judgmental and trying to find the right person at the same time that's not how it works honey i don't know what you are going to do but this is how it is going to be right now let's see what's coming towards you till the 24th of june taurus Ten of Pentacles, wow, hanged man. The moment you will start seeing things from a different perspective, the moment you will see uh, different pe like people from a different perspective and uh, you will start opening up to new people, new energies with this uh, sense of, okay, I have to connect with humans more and more and I have to jo like experience the joy in these connections. I think the universe is going to bless you with this potential outcome of happily ever after that you're looking forward to. In some cases, it could be possible that you are going to meet a person or you are going to get a proposal like uh, 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 with the help of your family members, extended family or mutual friends that you consider as family, some, something like that. Let's clarify the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Cups, the Lovers and the World card. What? The Eight of Cups, the World card is the completion of a cycle moving away from something or someone that you are highly attracted to. What is happening here? You are walking away from a dis you are walking away from a temptation. You are walking away from a particular person or situation that's keeping you as an option. Or you were keeping someone as an option and now you are completing a cycle with that person. You are putting an end to that. Okay, the thing that you are keeping, the thing or person that you were keeping as an option in your life. Okay, if this person is not going to be with me, I'm going to go in that direction. Or if this thing is not going to work out uh, like what I, uh, how it, I want it to be, I'm going to uh, end it. You are going to end something here. This is the end of a temptation or you can say this is the, temp this is the end of an illusion that you have created for yourself and uh, uh, like uh, a stable kind of energy is going to enter in your, in your life very very soon Taurus because I think again again I'm seeing some kind of illusion is breaking here some kind of uh, decision is uh, made from your side and the moment you are going to walk away from a delusional or illusion kind of energy uh, the moment you are going to put an end to this kind of energy or uh, this kind of connection where you are not getting anything out of that situation and it's happening from a very long time i think the universe is going to bless you with the energy of okay of, of a very very stable connection of us with a very very stable uh, person and energy hmm. or simply someone is going to be attracted to you because you are the stable energy here because you are leaving a lot of thing behind you and uh, changing yourself and being the right energy so lots of people might approach you for having this happily ever after kind of energy with you. Now you are going to choose which direction you want to go and which direction you don't want to go. Take it how it resonates with you. Taurus, these are, these I'm getting very spiritual messages for everyone. Instead of, you know, uh, messages for the 3D world, we I'm getting the alternate reality kind of messages here. Hmm. 
so some kind of illusion is breaking and you're walking away from that permanently and boom a uh, balanced kind of energies are uh, entering in your life in your love life let's see what is the guidance for you people in the situation taurus the magician the judgment and the eight of pentacles no no manifestation on this universe is going to be complete until unless you are going to forgive yourself forgive the other people and uh, have this gratitude kind of attitude and release those expectation that you are having like you are having a certain pattern you are having a certain list like my person should be like that my uh, like past person should behave like that or my new soulmate should behave like that it, if it is not like that this is not my person so your manifestation have lots of terms and conditions and never on earth manifestation uh, uh, works with terms and conditions that you are going to put an, on a human level nope you have to release those uh, expectations release the, those illusions and you have to cultivate the attitude of gratitude and forgive and forget then start working on your goal from scratch and then i think your manifestation is going to come to fruition whatever manifestation you are having relation, related to uh, love and relationship and uh, partnerships in your life cool this is what i have for you taurus hope this uh, makes sense to you so thank you so much for tuning in i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste